Okay, we are here today to demonstrate the use of the new FM TV hub tool that is featured in PS ma 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 Magazine 696, page 14 and 15. PS Magazine gives a brief description on how the tool operates. This tape is designed to help everybody understand how the tool works. We'll move to a picture of the tool while the tool is on the rest. As you can see, the tool is designed in two parts, the rest and then the gauge itself. You can tell by the design of the pegs, these are ground to the right height to deter determine your measurement from the hub nut to the hub face. These are ground to the mean of the, the measurement that is required in the IETM after step 21. As you have the gauge sitting on the rest, zero the gauge and then remove the gauge from the rest, go, go to the truck, which as you can tell, we have the truck preset at the point after step up to step 21 in the IETM, which shows the nut is all, has already been torqued. Your inner side gear has been aligned with the two pegs on the nut so that you know your side gear is aligned and you won't have to move the bearing nut again. Place the gauge in the holes. The, hole, the holes that align, align with the gauge, ensuring that the nut is square with the face on the dial indicator. Record the measurement off your gauge. Then at this point you return back to the rest. Place the tool, tool back onto the rest. Assemble your shim pack. Raise the dial indicator up, ensuring to hold down that your shims are tight against the base. If you're not sure, do the, do the shims one at a time or a zero to one mic and mic each shim. It's, it's imperative that you get as close as you can to the measurement you received from the hub on the truck. Once you're close, then you pull your shim, shim pack out and you're ready to go back onto the truck. Continue on with assembly of the truck as outlined in ITM. That's about all there is to it.